Hello and welcome everybody, Lionheart here with a how to install stainless steel 6.4 for Medieval 2 Kingdoms. This is to go alongside my current let's play with stainless steel 6.4 with uh, Genoa. Uh, link to that is in the description if you haven't already checked it out, please do. But anyway, a lot of you want to play along as well, so I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible for a mod install. But there are other things I do need to tell you along the way to, to basically get it so that your mod installs fine and has no issues. So without further ado, if you look in the description you will find a link to the stainless steel download which will bring you up onto this page. Now the installation of 6.4 which is the latest um, currently uh, released version of stainless steel requires um, 6.3 as its base. 6.4 is essentially a patch for stainless steel, 6.3 is the last kind of um, released standalone installed version. Now, the top link here is to a website, uh, Speedy, I think it is, and that has both stainless steel 6.3 and the 6.4 patch all in one download, but it is about 2.56 gigabytes, so it may take some of you a while to download as well, especially if you don't have a premium membership with that site. Um, there's lots of free alternatives here for the, but they're um, for 6.4 and 6.3 individually. You can download the 6.4 patch at these links here, obviously not that mega upload one, and then below that the links for 6.3. Make sure you download 6.3 and 6.4. If you just download 6.4 and try to install it, the mod is not going to work. It needs the base 6.3 install for 6.4 to work because 6.4 is essentially just a patch. Now, so you just click on them, you download them. And then, obviously, I'll show you across to where I download all my mods to. Once you download them, I believe they just should come out as folders, but they may be in um, zips, which will look like this. A couple of books, you right-click on them and click Extract, provided that you have um, an extracting program. If you don't have one, just Google WinRAR or WinZip, download them. They're, there's free versions of both. And then you right-click and click Extract here, and then you'll get Stainless Steel 6.3 and 6.4 patch. So let's go into 6.3 folder, and you'll come to the 6.3 EXE. Double-click it, click Next, and then it will it should automatically point to your Medieval 2 mods um, mods folder install. So if you I'm running obviously a Steam version of Medieval 2 Total War at the moment. If you have a non Steam version, depending, I think, on which um, editorial publication of Medieval 2, it'll either be published, or rather, you'll either find it under uh, Program Files and then Sega, or it might be Program Files Creative Assembly. Um, I don't know which one, because my, my copy of Medieval 2 Total War comes under Sega, because um, it's one of the early copies but perhaps uh, later editions may have been redone with the install path to Creative Assembly. But anyway, go to your Total War, uh, rather Medieval 2 Total War install, you know where it'll be, I'm sure, and uh, it'll just automatically point to that, creating a stainless steel 6.3 folder. You click Next, and it will install. I'm exiting the setup because I've already done that, and then once you've installed 6.3, go to the 6.4 patch, run the EXE, click Next, same path again to stainless steel 6.3, and install and then you're good to go when that's done uh, check it's all installed you can come to your medieval 2 total war mods folder and then stainless steel 6.3 now it says it will say 6.3 even though it's 6.4 it says 6.3 because 6.3 is the main version you're installing 6.4 is just a patch on top of that so that's fine that it says 6.3 when you're in game you should see all the splash screen logos and stuff saying 6.4 so, the main things in here that you're interested in are launcher.exe and setup.exe. Now, you'll be interested in the launcher.exe if you try and use the shortcut. It will create a shortcut to your desktop for the mod. If you double-click that shortcut and it doesn't work, try launching the game through this launcher.exe. Uh, if that doesn't work, obviously right-click on it and try running as an administrator, but that should hopefully fix any issues people are having. Now, the setup.exe will come to in a moment when I talk about the extra kind of sub-mods that I've added into this mod. We'll only go over them for a brief minute or two, um, because some of you may just want to use the base game, but I'll talk to you all about them in a moment. So, um, what I should say is, if you're having any issues loading up the game, Stainless Steel's team have added a brilliant FAQ, a link to this will be in the description as well. And if you're having any issues with your game, this is your first point of call. 
please don't make a comment saying that your game doesn't work, your mod doesn't work, without checking this FAQ first, because it's rather extensive and it should cover most issues. If you have an issue on here that um, isn't solved or you've tried the fix and it doesn't work, please seriously make a post on the forums because you will be in direct contact with the mod team and other community members that will know how to fix your game and how to get your mod working, that your copy of the mod working basically. Um, I will do my best to help you in the comments section but you guys will be able to help yourselves out much faster and much quicker by checking through the FAQ and making your own post. So with that said, um, I'm running two extra sub mods on top of Sainer Steel. Uh, one, Weaker Heretics, and the other, the Next Air Ancillary. Both links to these will be in the description, and the installs are pretty much exactly the same. For the Weaker Heretics one, you just click which one you want here. There's Weakened Heretics, and there's even more Weakened Heretics. Basically, it nerfs Heretics uh, in Sailor Steel because I found them heavily overpowered to the point where every single one of my priests that tried to take out a heretic was becoming a heretic themselves so I couldn't kill them and corruption and religious unrest was just spreading like wildfire across all my towns so that was not great so to install it you just have to download the text file and then you copy the text file into your stainless steel folder data campaign and sub and I'll show you exactly where that is so in stainless steel we go data campaign sub and then you'll see I've got even more weakened heretic text file and then the next air mod the next air mod as i said um you download the ones you want from here uh, this version for 6.2 6.3 and you want the 6.4 version as long as you patch it up to that one as well so you click that you download it uh that one is a .rar file so you will need win rar or winzip extracting programs or something similar to extract them once you've got those programs installed you just right click on it and extract here and then you'll be presented with this little text file and you drop it into data campaign sub once you've done all that come back to the main uh, stainless steel 6.3 folder double click that setup one now you have the option to basically configure the stainless steel mod if you've got 6.4 properly patched and everything you will see it will say 6.4 here so translations you can have it in english um german or um spanish uh, but that's only partial. Obviously, I want it English. So, um, once that's done, just click Campaigns. Campaigns is the main bit you want to do. And you've got two options for campaigns. An early era campaign, which is what my Genoa Let's Play is on, or a late era campaign. The main difference is that certain factions will have slightly different starting locations. And obviously, you'll have access to slightly more powerful units from the start of the uh, of the um, of the game. So, once you've selected the one you want, so early era... You will then get a selection of various scripts and things that you want to run the, in the game. Now these are important, so don't skip through them. The top three are different AI levels. The top one is basically an all-out war AI. The second one is a very peaceful diplomatic AI. And the third is the one I'm going for, uh, the savage AI, which is kind of a mix between war and peace. The next two bits are kind of optional extras for extra depth and realism. You can read them in your own time. And then if you've installed the next air ancillary, that's where it will be. Tick that if you want to be able to choose your next air as such. Um, I explain how that works in the first part of my Genoa Let's Play. So if you want to see how that works, because it's not your next direct air as such, but it's kind of your next next air. But that's just the only way they could actually get this sub mod to work in the game. Then there's a real recruitment, which you can read about there. Uh, and then if you've installed the weakened or weaker heretics, um, sub mod as well, that'll be there, you can tick that if you want it. You've got limited activities, longer assimilation, and then permanent arrows and permanent watchtowers. I've ticked them both. If you're struggling um, in battles with a bit of lag with lots of archers, you may want to unselect uh, permanent arrows. Once that's all done though, and you've choose, chosen the uh, various things you want, click OK, and then you can click Start and Exit. That will instantly load up your game. However, um, I'm not going to do that right now, I'm just going to click the cross there. And it's all pretty much good to go. If you're running a Steam version uh, of Medieval 2 Total War, uh, Scuba Steve has brought to my attention that this post here, again, there will be a link in the description under Steam Fix. Um, if you're having issues, you may want to try out the information uh, listed in this post if your game does not work. But anyway, I'll leave that for you guys to read. It's pretty straightforward, just following the options on there and the various postings. 
But it's a pretty pretty easy mod because it comes with its own installer, so it shouldn't have too much issues. There's a great FAQ, as I said already, and please, please, please do make a post if you're having issues because that will get you straight through to the mod team um, and what have you. But I'm more than happy to help out uh, if you've checked through the FAQ and what have you beforehand. So hopefully that answers uh, any questions about how to install Stainless Seal 6.4. That is, of course, the latest version of the mod as of the 1st of June 2013. Hopefully that shows you how to do it. If you've got any questions and what have you, you know where to put the comments and stuff. If you found this video useful and helpful, please do subscribe, thumb up this video if you enjoyed it. And please do check out the first part of my Genoa Let's Play and hopefully all future parts. So as always, hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you all again soon. Ciao.